Miss Fahat, your limousine will be here punctually at midday. Thank you, Miss Keyhole. I must say, King's College won't be the same without you. <laughs> Surely not, Miss Keyhole. I'm just one of many to pass through. Quite so. For 300 years, these walls have sheltered the finest of the world's youth. Who's going to inherit my room? Some other spoiled rich man's son? We're expecting a young lady, a prodigy of humble origins, unfortunately, but supposedly of great talent. No, Daddy, I'm not going to Oxford, and that's that. Now, Tilda Love, we have to look to the future. You're too smart to work in the mines like your old man. But I want to stay here with you. But if you stay, you won't be able to do what you love and find out all those things about the Absurdians and the messy pots. Assyrians and Mesopotamians. You'll be the first in the family to go to a university. Quite, but who'll prepare your breakfast? Hey, look here. I'm not exactly helpless. Oh. Let's make a deal. We'll talk on the phone every day without blooming fail <gasps> and we'll tell each other everything that's happening. Deal? Deal, Daddy. Get me own head next. <laughs> hmm? <gasps> For you, from your old man and all the boys down to pit 34. A koala computer! Oh, Daddy, you're quite the most stupendous thing ever! <laughs> Moment, Your Highness. You two! Uh, uh, huh? uh, you mean us, lady? You're tracking mud all over that precious carpet. Uh, <gasps> I'm blooming sorry I am. Return to the mud field from whence you came. Uh, 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 oh. Without trampling on the carpet. Uh, oh. Miss Keyhole, aren't you going a bit too far? I know how to deal with the lower classes. Chimney sweeps must come in through the service entrance. Be careful, or you'll wind up in far worse shape than this carpet. <sighs> now listen, Miss Peabrain, just tell me where the dean's office is and make it bloody snappy. Get out of here at once. Quite. So I'll just tear up the letter that begs me to come live in this snake pit for the next four years. That's Miss Swanson's invitation letter. Quite. Miss Tilda Swanson. Are you that, Tilda Swanson? Quite. In the flesh, ducks. Now, would you let me say goodbye to my father? I shall go prepare your room. <laughs> your Highness, the aircraft is waiting. Did you want to say something? N no, nothing. Proceed, please. Now, don't forget, I expect to hear from you every evening, Tilda. Of course, Daddy. <laughs> Bye! I look ridiculous. No one who's wearing the King's College blazer looks ridiculous. Not even you, Miss Swanson. Very well. What time is mess in this barracks? At seven precisely. Oh, I have a couple of hours then. Where's the library? The library? Is this or is this not a university, Miss Keyhole? Yes, most decidedly. Follow me. No, 
as well as I do, Snarchkov, that no one has been allowed into the Forbidden Desert for centuries. I was thinking you might make teensy wincy exception, Your Majesty. I cannot break an ages-old law just so you can drill for a few barrels of oil. But there's an ocean of oil in Northwest Quadrant. How can you be so sure? No, I did a little exploratory <laughs> sheer intuition. Listen. That is an accursed place that has already caused countless catastrophes. Oh, just old wives' tales, Your Majesty. Snarchkov, I will not allow you to bring harm to my people. As you wish, sire. Your Majesty. Yes, Ben? His Royal Highness Prince Farhat has landed. At last. At last my son has come home. I congratulate Your Majesty on this joyous occasion and will carry out your orders to the letter. My room at last. My own room. My books, my telescope, my super comfortable bed. This is great. I know who that is. No one makes fritters that smell so good. Ben, my pal. Welcome back, your highness. Let me grab one of these. Here he is at last. Hi, Farhat. Shadow, what happened to you? I've been looking for you for four years. Actually, I was with you the whole time. Yes, but you didn't talk. It was too cold and rainy. Now we're back in the sunshine, almost as good as Miami. And it's given me such an appetite. Hey, give those back. Ben, you're the greatest. Come back here. <laughs> no, you can't talk to me. These no. crap marks are mine. You come back here. Oh. <laughs> That's enough. Farhat, your parents are very eager to see you. <laughs> I'll settle my account with you later. Welcome back, your highness. I, along with everyone else, have missed you terribly. I can't say the same. I shall endeavor to fulfill your wishes on the earliest possible occasion. Father! Farhat! <laughs> Here goes. Let's try the old grip. You've really grown. Not too boy. big to give your mother a kiss, I hope. Mama! Oh, I've dreamed so often of riding out on the desert with you and father. We'll do it again. Now that you're all done with your schooling, you can stay here at home as much as you want. I'm not going to leave you here to face the wilds of Snotchkoff alone, father. Oh, Abdul is a serpent that hisses but doesn't bite. In that case, why has the Petroglobe building grown another 20 stories? He's a grown man now. Tell him. He's apparently not satisfied with controlling half the world's oil. Now he wants to drill in the Forbidden Desert. That's something he just can't do. He's totally without scruples and very dangerous because he's a fool who considers himself clever. I would have found some pretext for throwing him out of the country years ago, but his mother was born here and that gives him citizenship. There's nothing I can do. I am taking petroleum out of ground wherever I am pleased to do so. I make lovely little holes in sand and comes a gusher. <laughs> and then more holes, and more holes, and more holes, and more holes. All is ready, your evilness. We await your orders. Tomorrow. In a few hours, we will see just how much force is carried by His Majesty's disapproval. I will sink the first hole with my very own hands. <laughs> Evil rejuvenates me. I was looking at Scorpio, my favorite constellation. I learned a lot about the stars at Oxford, but when I talked about their magic powers, everyone laughed at me. It's hard to accept things that have no rational explanation. Mama, the Forbidden Desert is where Eaglecon appears, right? You still remember that? I dream about it every night. Sometimes I have the feeling that he's right behind me. You always had a very special sensitivity. Mm. Tell me the story, the way you did when I was a child. I'd rather you got a good night's sleep. Please, Mother. All right. Now lie down and relax. Once upon a time, there was a happy city with a sparkling river running through it and where children and animals played happily among the palms. The city had neither moat nor wall, and its citizens were happy and free. The secret of this prosperity was held within a magical crystal in the shape of a scorpion, the Shariman. But one day, the sun grew dark, announcing the arrival of an evil demon. Oh. <laughs> I 
am Ego Khan, and this city belongs to me. The people realized that evil had come among them. Ego Khan had come to take possession of the magic crystal. But at the touch of the demon's claws, the Shariman shattered into seven fragments, which flew into the heavens like shining meteors and went to the farthest corners of the world. Oh. The city was bereft of the magic of the Shariman, and life quickly abandoned it. In its place, there was nothing but desolation and sand, the sand of the Forbidden Desert. And nobody has set foot on those lands since that moment, for it is written that 7,000 years must pass. And then the predestined one will arrive, a prince, who will unite the seven fragments, and so doing, will defeat evil. A predestined prince. The little prince. Wake up, Farhat. You wanted to spin in the airplane, didn't you? <gasps> Fly, my little Galubki. Yes, fly! You see, Farhat? The desert is generous with its oil, but keeps its water to itself. And it has the better part of the bargain. Father, please turn around. What did you see, son? I don't know. Just turn back, please. I see nothing strange. Father, we've got to land. But we can't, Farhat. This is the Forbidden Desert, after all. I know, but all the same, we have to land. Do as he asks, my dear, won't you? <laughs> now, will you kindly explain, son? I... I saw something. Get back to the plane now. I... I saw something. We shouldn't be here. Minus three. Minus two. One. Ha, ha. No! <laughs> Father! Mother! Answer me! Please tell me you're all right! We're all right, son. At least I think so. It's a miracle we're still alive. Abdul Snarchkov! That filthy, underhanded snake! I should never have been so gullible! If it hadn't been for Farhat... My marvelous son, you're a gift from the gods. The eyes of his soul have always seen where everyone else is blind. We have to get back to the capital immediately and prevent him from doing further harm. We'll just follow the dunes heading east. It won't take more than a couple of hours. Hold on. Just a minute. Farhat, what's the matter? Listen, it wasn't the bomb I was feeling. It was something else, and I'm feeling it stronger every second. Oil drops keep falling on my face. <laughs> Never again will anyone dare to thwart my plans. No one will ever again dare to contradict me. <laughs> I shall virtually pockmark the Forbidden Desert with lovely gleaming oil rigs. <laughs> the wisdom of my Ukrainian forebears bubbles in my veins, as does the courage of my Arab ancestors. And thus will my oil bubble through the pipes and tubes of the whole world. <laughs> What 
is all this? What's going on down there? Most interesting. Seemingly, all the ancient texts are in agreement regarding this remarkable legend. When the time has come to pass and the seventh millennium after the fact is completed, the sullen shadow of evil will arise and darken the earth. I've never seen a sandstorm like this. Listen! What was that sound? The wind. At least I think so. But Hutch, what can we do? At this point, look for some shelter, I think. The wind will be screaming. And all the plants will writhe like famished serpents. Not hot. I've found shelter. Look, there's even drinking water. Ah. Oh. 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 Are you all right, dearest? And while the signs of the baleful awakening spread throughout the world, will whirl like dervishes to capture the innocent. Bottomless abysses will open. You need a hand, Bubbler. Get a move on already. My father! Why you are just standing around? Get to work! You're evilness, don't you see the sky? This is the curse of the Forbidden Desert! You wishing, washing chorts, afraid of a little storm? I'll get those machines going myself if I have to. But your lowness, this way we'll all be cursed. We are all cursed anyway, so there's no turning back. Gangway! This can't be happening. It can't be true. Oh, it's very true, all right. You. Yes, I've been sleeping for 7,000 years, dreaming of this moment. Ego Khan. Yes, Ego Khan. The nightmare of your feverish dreams. Destiny made manifest. <laughs> you are just a worm groveling at my feet. The predestined one, indeed. Your favorite prince, the paladin of the downtrodden. Your story has ended before it began. Invisibility kick. Uh, 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 uh. I'm really sorry, but we gotta run. We got a day. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, where am I? Oh. Get out of here! Get out of here? This is my house. A talking scorpion? As a young man without a shadow, I wouldn't throw any stones. 
And you're in pretty bad shape, too. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> a little mango weasel would be good to start out with. <clears throat> oh! I drop the battery acid. Open your mouth! I don't want you to poison me. It's just a pick-me-up. Do you good? Uh, how do I know that? You may talk, but you're still a scorpion. There are men who poison you and scorpions who do you good. Never trust appearances. <coughs> That's a bombshell. You've got a weird way of expressing yourself, my man. Is there more? That's enough for now. And speaking of bombs, what brought you all the way out here, huh? The bomb. Is that the only thing you know how to say? <sighs> My mother and father were swallowed up by the desert. Then my shadow was driven away by the wind. Then he rose up, Egocon. So what are you going to do about it? I'm going to fight, naturally. I have to avenge my parents. You mustn't fight evil with evil. Then again, how many battles have you fought lately? To judge by your muscle tone, I'd say not a one. My ancestors were proud warriors, and... Yeah, and they also knew how to use a sword. <coughs> They knew how to parry and repost. They knew the fort and the foible. They knew prime and octave. Would you be willing to teach me? And why should I lend my talents to a callow youth? Never trust appearances. Well, I see you're a quick learner. I'll give you that much credit. What's your name, kiddo? Farhat, what's yours? I'm Ali. Pleased to meet you. Why do you talk so funny? You don't sound like any Ali I ever met. My folks are from Jersey City, wherever that is, and everyone there talks like this. Where are we, Ali? What's going on here? All in good time, kiddo. Come on along with me. Come on, come on. Your adventures are just beginning. <laughs>